morning guys how are you welcome 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 it is thankful thursday today and thank you so much for joining me i know some of you are popping in or you're getting the message the notification that i've gone live and you're going to be joining me shortly so i'm going to wait to share with you um what it is that i am happy grateful and thankful for today but i want to start by saying progress is a, is not linear progress comes all over the place so i'm not happy with doing my lives sitting down and in the vehicle but at least i'm doing them at least i'm showing up right good morning friends okay so today is thankful thursday and on thankful thursday i wanted to share with you my piece of gratitude for today something i am happy grateful and thankful for and as i'm sharing this i would love for you to populate in the comments what it is that you are happy, grateful, and thankful for. And um, let's support each other. If you like this already, if you like any of my stuff, please comment, like, follow, share. You know the drill. This helps other people see my information. And this is the best way you can support me. And it's free. Okay, so what is it that you're happy, grateful, and thankful for today on Thankful Thursday? And I wanna say it's progress. But it's not progress because last night I didn't take um, Tylenol or Advil and I woke up this morning in a lot of pain with my calf. And I'm not sure for those that are new if you caught this, but on Sunday when I did my first event in five years, I had to walk for a little bit. It was a 5K. I made it to the 4K mark and I had to walk and then I heard an elastic band break and I tore a calf muscle. So my friends right here, crutches and my backpack i i'm joking like i've got my dora backpack and ready to go and here's the thing i've had to tap into my divine feminine energy all week wherever i've been and ask for help it's humbling it's hard and you can do it easily at home with grace and gratitude but when you're out and about or when you're at work it's a different different aspect altogether so i'm so thankful that i have that support in my life because not everybody does and i can acknowledge that that's not even what i'm happy grateful and thankful for today although it should be so last night i i'm dealing with this and whenever we're in a part of our healing journey it takes much more out of us than what we realize and there's a bigger message so yeah i could be frustrated i could be overwhelmed i could be all of these things but i'm not but last night it hit me hard and suddenly after the end of my day, like after work, when I got home and settled in, I was wiped out. I was exhausted. And then I started to cry. Crocodile tears. From my perspective, no rhyme, no reason. I reached out to my for sharing a little. She encouraged me to journal. Well, I had already journaled earlier and I'm like, okay, I'll journal again. So I tapped into my Oracle cards and my tarot cards and I did 13 pages of journaling. So I woke up this morning to a message from my coach saying, oh, by the way, we're in a new moon. It didn't even dawn on me. So those lunar cycles is a way that we go through all four seasons in one month, especially as a female. Men have it a little bit differently. They go through a 24 hour cycle. We go through a 30, 28 day, 30 day cycle. Our hormones are completely connected to all four seasons and the moon. So way, 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 way back, and I'm not talking yesterday, way back when, caveman days, that's how women track their cycles, was from the moon. And if you think about it, we are made of 80 plus percent water. Some people are gonna say 90, but whatever. Let's just go with the fact that the majority of us is water. And if you've ever seen water during a new moon or a full moon, there's always tides. Those emotions hit us hard. I cried, it all hit me last night. And what that means though, between the tears, between the release, between the conversations, is I was able, I was able to release all of my thoughts and all of my feelings, let it go. 13 pages later, I woke up this morning in a much better mood. A little sore, because I didn't take my meds at nighttime, because I thought it was okay. Better, I wanted to be better. Um, <laughs> that's okay, lessons learned, right? But here's the thing. When we learn to adapt to the lunar cycles and we can roll with it without judgment, it makes a world of difference. And for those that caught me earlier, yes, you heard me say I work with a coach. We should all be working with a coach. One way or another, we should all be working with somebody else to help pull us through those dark moments. 
So I am happy and grateful and thankful for the lunar cycle, learning a little bit more about it and adapting and releasing so I can move forward into this new phase, which is about a three to seven day period, the next phase and with openness because I released everything yesterday through my thoughts, through my journaling, through my mindset and through my, my voice. So that's my why I'm happy, grateful, and thankful for today. I would love to hear from you. I will be sharing this live to all of my social media platforms um, within uh, probably within the hour. So you can go ahead and chime on live there. And guys, I wish you all an amazing and amazing Thursday. If you're curious a little bit more with what I do, go ahead, check out my link in my bio. My link tree, there's some free assessments in there. I do free report reviews. And I would love to be able to support you on your journey as well. Make it an amazing Thursday. Mwah!